Hey, what's up everybody on YouTube? This is Julie and today is part two of the ClickFunnels series and today I'm going to talk about the 10 hacks to becoming the fastest funnel builder in the world on ClickFunnels. Now, I actually started thinking about this a couple years ago when I was building funnels because funnels can be huge and big and complicated and what could I do to make things faster? So I'm gonna go into our process, our funnel building process, specifically on ClickFunnels to show you 10 hacks you can put in your business today. Hack number one is to act like a manufacturing plant. So what this means is that you wanna have all of your copy done before you go and put it into your funnel. Most people, what they do is they set up their page. So let's say we go in here, we click here, we set it, we design it, we put the copy in, then we click out, then we go to the next page. But instead you want to act like a manufacturing plant. You want to get all your copy done first, get all of your assets done first. So if you have not purchased OfferCure, that's exactly what this does is it helps you get your offer, it helps you get your assets and all your copy done. So go to OfferCure.com to get that. So that is the first thing is act like a manufacturing plant. Second thing is fall in love with video. So right now I'm here on video. You can say so much in video, so much more than a super long, long, long copy. So go ahead and create video and you can shorten your sales page and your design considerably. When you get into the funnel, just make sure that you add an element in click funnels right at the top, go to video and you can get a lot of selling done that way. Number three, make sure you get into the habit of testimonial hacking. Now you can see here, this is our testimonials board, but what we actually do is we mass upload testimonials into our image editor in ClickFunnels. That way we have them always at the ready, no matter what we're doing, we can grab bonus points if you can really do a good naming syntax for each of your testimonials so that you can just search by file name and pull them in. Number four, make copy templates. Okay, so if you have not created a swipe file of all of your copy that you love, go ahead and do that. You can put it in Trello. You can put it anywhere where you want. You can see Russell Brunson here. We've got a bunch of email copy. So this is bullet points, headlines. This will make it so much easier to put things into your funnel where you need headlines. You can just go. The One of the things I love to do is to take a headline from a completely different industry, throw it into ClickFunnels, and then just re write it for my industry and then that way I can just move really 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 fast. Hack number five is to save your sections for repeatable things. So how many of you guys know that you need to have a footer at the bottom of all of your funnels? Well wouldn't it be easy and this can be done in ClickFunnels if you just click save then what you can do is you can save this section all the links all the design all the copy all the colors everything and then when you go to do another funnel all you have to do is hit my sections, you can pull them all up. And when you go ahead and you grab a section like this, it will pull the whole thing in. I don't know what I just pulled in, but that's what you can see to save sections. So not only can you save sections, but you can also save the blue columns and rows as well. Hack number six is to batch your graphics and mass upload. Do all of your graphics work first, upload everything, make sure you have a good naming syntax. That way when you're running through, and you're adding the graphics and the things you need, you don't have to stop and go over to Photoshop and find it and pull it in. You can just go up here and everything, and just click on this little button, everything will be here, ready for you to do, you grab and go. Hack number seven is to learn how to set design. Here's what's really important. If you are busy, it is awesome if you can go buy a template. So go to funnelgorgeous.com and get a template. You're looking at a template right now. And what you wanna do is you wanna do the first few sections yourself, set the design, get the idea, then hand it off to a VA who has some sort of design style or someone who's like a junior designer and tell them all they have to do is keep repeating the sections and just switch out the copy. So let's say you have this section done. Then what they can do is they can simply clone it and then they can move it down the page like this and then they can use it down the page for another section. That way you don't have to spend the time doing all the nitty gritty. You can set the design first and then hand it off to someone else. Hack number eight, 
make a spreadsheet of things you always need. So here are our sales funnels URLs with the descriptions. One of the awesome things is if you actually don't just link up the link of where it is, but also link up the link into the editor. You can see when I do that, it actually pulls up the funnel right in ClickFunnels so that I don't have to click here and go through 8 million funnels to figure out. And there's a lot of funnels in here to figure out where they are. It's a quick links and it opens up right to the editor. Hack number nine is to optimize for mobile last. So, or first, either way, if you have a lot of mobile traffic, you can actually build the funnel for mobile first and then optimize it for desktop. But if you still have a fair amount of desktop traffic, you want to do this last. Don't do each section. Again, remember what I said about thinking like a manufacturer. So go through the first thing you want to do, especially in ClickFunnels, is set the mobile size of the text. All text has mobile sizes. Once you've done that, if there's one section that really doesn't work, you can go ahead and create a mobile only versus a desktop only. So you can sit here and you can say oh, this is for mobile only or desktop only, and you can have two of the same section. Be careful with that. Don't do it too much. It will slow down the page speed. Last thing that I will say is to spend time planning so that the building is fast. And I want to show you in here, we have a ton of templates with all the planning built in. So we give you the brand board file so that you can go ahead and figure out, okay, what colors am I going to use? What headline? am I going to use? What fonts am I going to use? We have all of that stuff figured out for you. We also have all the image assets created. Get all of these things together so that when you go to build your funnel, it goes so much faster. You can see here, we actually give you five different types of color palettes to use. Once you have these colors, go into the editor. And if you go here, you can see that the editor allows you to grab frequently used. So once you've used those five colors, they'll show up here. So it'll be super easy. And if you use one of our templates, you can actually pull the template right in. You don't even have to change the colors. Guys, I really hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Remember, there are two other videos in this series. If you go to part one, I tell you everything you need to know about ClickFunnels in just 10 minutes or less. And in the next video, part three, I'm going to give you eight things that you absolutely must have on your funnel that you can put in right through ClickFunnels in that video. I'll talk to you soon.